Ocean of Knowledge now on BBC Two for those with a thirst for it. University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, and welcome to University Challenge and the very last first round match after which we'll be able to make the draw for the second round. Taking part in this important contest are two seats of learning established in the 15th century. Jesus College Cambridge was founded in 1496 by the Bishop of Ely. Off the main Cambridge tourist routes, Jesus has retained its cloistered charm. Famous members of the college include Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop to Henry VIII and Edward VI, and the poet Coleridge. Four current Jesus students are with us, hoping to show their general knowledge skills. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Stephen Brown. I'm from Manchester, and I'm reading English literature. Hello, I'm Robbie Hudson from Little Hallingbury in Essex, and I'm reading history. And their captain? I'm Andy Helliwell from Southampton, reading geography. And I'm Matthew Green from Manchester, reading modern and medieval languages. Their opponents are from the University of St Andrews. Founded in 1411, it's Scotland's oldest university. Its 5,200 students make up nearly a third of the population of the town of St Andrews. What a strange place it must be. Famous alumni include the chairman of British Rail, Sir Bob Reid, Alex Salmond MP and the novelist Faye Weldon. St Andrews has many traditions and customs, including the unique scarlet undergraduate gown, which can be seen on three of today's team. Let's meet them. I'm Tim Wilkes from Sheffield. I'm studying history. Hello, I'm Matthew E. from Leon C. in Essex, and I'm studying Joint English and Art History. And their captain? Hello, I'm Stephen Clark from Widnes in Cheshire, and I'm reading Theoretical Physics. And I'm Chris Young from Chinkford, studying Classics. Now, questions, as you'll doubtless recall, come in the form of starters for 10 on the buzzer and no conferring. Bonuses are a team effort worth a possible 15 additional points. If a contestant interrupts a starter question and then gives the wrong answer, I'll fine their team five points and offer the entire question to the opposition. Every point is vital because the losing team could still make the second round draw if their score's high enough. So best of luck to both Jesus and St Andrews. Here's the first starter for 10. Which contemporary film director bought Rosebud, the sledge used in... Jesus Hudson. Orson Welles. You lose five points, so you start off on minus five. St Andrews, you get the whole question. Bought Rosebud, the sledge used in Citizen Kane, to remind him that quality in movies comes first. His films have included adaptations of novels by J.G. Ballard, Alice Walker and Peter Benchley. St Andrews Wilkes. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg's right, well done. <laughs> You get three questions on verse, St Andrews. Which ancient verse form consists of four dactyls or spondees, then an invariable dactyl and spondee, divided usually in the third foot by a caesura? A hexameter. A hexameter. Hexameter's right. Who introduced the sonnet into English, copying the Petrarchan style, which has since been used by every major English poet? Philip Sidney. Was it Spencer? Who? I think it was Spencer. Come on. Philip Sidney. Well, you're in the right sort of area, but Sir Thomas Wyatt. Uh, finally, for five points, what name is given to verse without rhyme, especially the, the iambic pentameter first used by Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, in his translation of the Aeneid, which was published in 1557? Blank verse. Mm. Yeah, blank, blank verse. Blank verse is right. <laughs> the second start of a ten. What happened politically in Britain in February and October 1974? Ah. St Andrews Clark. General election. There was a general election. Well done. <laughs> Three questions on astronomy for you, St Andrews. What do astronomers measure in order to ascertain the length of a, of a sidereal year? Um, Any the clues? Around, uh, Any clues? Um, something to do with the star. Um, 
I don't think we know that one. No, no. well, you're right. <laughs> of course, it's something to do with the stars, or it being to do with astronomers, but it's actually the time it takes for the sun to return to the same position among the stars. For five points, in which constellation was a supernova recorded by Chinese and Korean astronomers in 1054? The remnants of this explosion still visible today is the Crab Nebula. Mm, cancer. No idea? Mm. No, cancer. No, Taurus. Mm. Another sign of the zodiac, I suppose. In 1572, which astronomer saw a new star brighter than Venus, where no star was supposed to be, in the constellation Cassiopeia, thus showing to be wrong an ancient idea that no change in the heavens could occur? 1572. Any idea? Galileo? Galileo? No, it was Tycho Brahe. A third starter for 10. In Einstein's mass energy equation, E equals mc squared, what does the constant C represent? St. Andrew's Clark. Speed of light. In a, f in that'll a do, but in a free space or vacuum. Right, you get three questions on US presidential elections, St. Andrew's. Which presidential candidate polled almost 10 million votes, standing as an American independent in 1968? What's his name? Was it Wallace? It was indeed George Wallace. For five points, on which party ticket did Norman Thomas contest every presidential election between 1928 and 1948? Yeah. Socialist. He was a socialist. Well done. Polled almost a million in 1932. For five points, what was the name of the Texan billionaire who stood as an independent candidate in the 1992 US presidential election, polling 19% of the vote, the best showing for a third candidate since 1912? H. Ross Perot. You're right. St Andrews has 55, Jesus has still to start on, on minus 5, but there's masses of time left. If you can start with this start of a 10, you'll be doing well. OK, <laughs> here we go. The poem Polly Albion, a geographical and historical survey of England's counties, was written between 1612 and 1622 by Michael Drayton and was influenced by which Edmund Spencer allegory? Jesus Brown. The Fairy Queen's right. Well done. Here are your bonuses, first for five. Created by Dudley Watkins, which stubble-chinned macho man first appeared in print in 1937? Desperate Dan. Desperate Dan. Desperate Dan. Desperate Dan. Desperate Dan and the Dandy. For five points, which Shakespearean character is described as a Daniel come to judgment? No idea. Okay. Okay. Malvolio. 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 Malvolio? No, it was Portia by Shylock in The Merchant of Venice. For five points, how did the biblical Daniel prove Susanna's innocence and save her from execution by his interrogation of her accusers? Uh, not, a not a clue. No, sorry. Okay. He asked them to identify the type of tree under which she was said to have been committing adultery, and they named different trees, so they there he thereby proved her innocence. Right, time for a picture round. You're about to see a foreign city, the site of an ancient Aztec capital, but don't buzz in too soon. In 1986, the final of a four-yearly sporting event took place... Jesus Heliwell. Mexico City. I'm afraid that's not the answer. <laughs> St Andrews, you get the whole question. The final of a four-yearly sporting event took place... St Andrews Clark. The Football World Cup. You're absolutely right. Although you didn't need to buzz in, you could have heard the whole question without any danger of interruption, but well done. You now get uh, the bonus question, which is also on world cities. I want you to identify three cities with just the country's map outline and the location of the cities to give you clues. The city is marked by a dot. First, for five points, which city is this? Is that Tokyo? Or no, that's, that's, yes, Tokyo. 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 It's not Tokyo. No. no. Kyoto. No. no. Any idea? Hiroshima. No, it's not. It's Osaka. Neither is it Tokyo. Tokyo is about 250 miles east and northeast. Secondly, for five points. Um, that's, um, Dakar. Dakar. That's it. Dakar. Dakar. Dakar in Bangladesh. Well done. That was a very difficult one. Finally, for five points. Um, Alexandria. 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 That is Alexandria in Egypt. Well done. Right, another starter for ten. What in cricketing terms is a pair of spectacles? Jesus Hudson. Uh, two ducks in a match. That's right, a duck in each innings. Well done. <laughs> I 
Oh. You're on 15 Jesus, St Andrews are on 75, you've plenty of time to pull back. There are six counties in Northern Ireland. I'll give you five points if you can name any four. Ten points if you can name five. The full 15 if you, if you can name all six. Antrim, Donegal, Antrim, Armagh, Fermanagh, Derry, yes. Um, don't know. Really. Oh, we said, we said Antrim and Armagh. We said Fermanagh. Yeah. We got five yeah. then. Um, okay. Antrim, Tyrone, Fermanagh, Derry, Armagh. Armagh. Five. Okay. Got. Yeah, you got five on. You're actually right. It's Derry or Londonderry, depending on what side of the fence you are. The one you're missing is County Down. So you score then. Uh, for what did I say? I give you. For, you give ten points for for five of them. Well done. Right, let's have another start of a ten. Where could you find male members of the Cervidae family mingling freely with Ursidae in central London between Monday morning and... Jesus Hudson. Uh, no, uh, Trafalgar Square. No, I'm afraid not. Oh. It's an interruption. You also lose five points. Uh, on Mon uh, Monday, between Monday morning and Friday evening. St Andrew's Clark. At the Stock Exchange. The stock Exchange because they're... Bear, bulls and deers or stags or something. Stags and bears. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus questions. Which Frenchman, the son of a baron, is best known for his idea that acquired traits are inheritable and in 1802 became the first person to use the word biology? Biology, Foucault. Um, Le Foucault. Um, no, it was Lamarck. The theory and description of whose experimental results were published in an article in 1865 entitled Versuche über Pflanzenhybriden, Experiments and Plant Hybrids, which at the time had seemed to have no effect whatsoever on biological thinking, mm -hmm. but are now recognised as fundamentally important to their field. Mm -hmm. Gregor Mendel. That's right, in genetics. Which British zoologist, whose father and sister were distinguished life zoologists, published a classification of living animals in 1961, claimed to be the first single volume classification of animals in existence? Do we know? Do we know at all? No idea. Sorry. No idea. It was the third Baron Rothschild. A start of a ten. The court of the Stannaries of Cornwall and Devon, whose powers were abolished in 1897, had jurisdiction for the administration of justice among which group of people? St. Andrew's Clark. Tin miners. Tin miners is correct. <laughs> St. Andrew's, three questions on works of non-fiction. Who was the subject of William Manchester's 1983 book, One Brief Shining Moment? idea? No. Um, Karl Marx. <laughs> no, it was John F. Kennedy. Ludovic Kennedy's book, The Airman and the Carpenter, revolves around which event of 1932? 1932? What happened then? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> We're waiting. Mm. The Spanish Civil War started. No, it's the kidnapping and murder of Charles Lindbergh, son. The man who was executed was a carpenter. Finally, for three points, the Day the Laughter Stopped by David Yallop focuses on a scandal of 1920 surrounding which film comedian? Oh, Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle, of course. He was acquitted of rape and murder, but his career was severely damaged. Right, a starter for 10 with Jesus on 20 and St Andrews on 105. Naturally occurring in certain willows as salicin, which analgesic was first synthesized in 1853 but was first marketed by Bayer AG of Leverkusen in 1899, its brand name being surrendered in 1919 to the Allies as part of Germany's war reparations. Jesus Heliwell. Aspirin. Aspirin is correct. <laughs> Don't sit around gossiping, you've got a lot of catching up to do. Three questions on ancient Egypt and archaeology. In which year did the British Museum stage a Tutankhamun exhibition to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the tomb's discovery by Howard Carter? Nineteen seventy-seven. No, nineteen seventy-two. Much of Howard Carter's early training came from which British archaeologist with whom he first went to Egypt in 1890? Lord Carnarvon. No, it was Sir Flinders Petrie. And finally, for five points, which pharaoh who reigned for much of the 13th century BC reigned for a short time as co-ruler with his father, Seti I? Ramesses II. Ramesses II. Ramesses II is right! Yeah. Jesus, you're on 35. St Andrews, you're on 105. We're about halfway through and we're going to have a music round now. You're about to hear, for your starter, a very famous excerpt from an opera. According to the title of the opera, 
What is the occupation of the character who's singing? St Andrew's clerk. Barber. From? Barber of Seville. The Barber of Seville, you've got it absolutely right. <laughs> Right, your bonus questions. Excerpts from three more very well-known uh, operas. I'm sure you're going to recognise the music, but you have to identify the operas from which they come. First for five points. Carmen. Carmen, it was the Toreador song. Second for five points. Lacme. No, it was the Tales of Hoffman by Offenbach. Oh. The aria was Belle Nuit au Nuit d'Amour. Finally, for five points. La donna è mobile, qual più val vento, muta da cento, e di pen piena. Sempre una mobile, senza drovito, litigando e vi. Rigoletto. Yes, by Verdi. Well done. The start of the ten now. <laughs> Believed by experts to have originated more than 500 years ago and often referred to as the royal dog of the Americas, what is the name of the smallest breed of dog? St. Andrew's Clark. Chihuahua. Chihuahua is right. Your bonus question, St Andrews. In the Second World War, the landings on the Normandy beaches, known as the D-Day landings, were originally thought by the Germans to be a distraction from the main invasion, which they believed was to take place in the region near which port? Calais, presumably. Mm -hmm. Calais? Yes, Calais, in the Pas de Calais. What name was given to the meeting place near Calais, where Henry VIII met Francis I of France in a temporary camp of great splendour in June 1520? The Field of the Cloth of Gold. The Field of the Cloth of Gold is right. Finally, for five points, which monarch is supposed to have said, when I am dead and opened, you shall find Calais lying in my heart? Mary. Mary, of course. Mary Tudor. Yes, Mary Tudor, Mary the First. was the last English possession in France, the beginning of the end, really. Jesus, Cambridge are on 35. St Andrews are on 150. A start of a 10. Which world-famous scientific institution was founded in 1846 with a bequest from a British mineralogist? No ideas, it was the Smithsonian Institution. Let's take another start of a ten. Which English painter who lived from 1860 until 1942, who was never fully appreciated in his own country until he was over 60, painted mainly urban scenes and drew inspiration for many of his... Jesus Green. Lowry. I'm afraid not drew his inspiration for many of his works from music halls and theatres. No ideas? St Andrews? No, it's Walter Sickard and Jesus, of course, you lose five points for that uh, interruption. Another start of a ten. What were the platonic bodies? St Andrews Clark. Are they the, the regular solids in geometry? That are five regular shaped geometric solids, you're right, described by Plato. <laughs> You mustn't give up, Jesus. There's still ten minutes to go. You could just about pull it back. Right, St Andrews, your bonus questions. Which US millionaire merchant, the son of a Quaker tobacco planter, left large endowments in his will to set up a university and hospital in the Baltimore area? John Hopkins. John Hopkins is right. What was the occupation of Matthew Hopkins during the 1640s? Uh, which, one? Yes. Uh, which finder general? Or which finder... Uh, that'll do. He was a witch hunter. He failed one of his own tests for witchcraft and was hanged uh, in 1647. <laughs> Finally, for five points, which poet laureate published the first collected edition of the poems of Gerard Manley Hopkins in 1918? Um, John Mayfield. No. no idea? John Mayfield. Uh, no, it was Robert Bridges. Yeah. Right, another start of a ten. What is the more familiar name of Gravely Hill Interchange ah, Junction? St Andrews Clark. Spaghetti Junction. It was Spaghetti Junction. You get three questions on monasteries and monks. Green and yellow types of which herb liqueur are produced by monks at Voiron near Grenoble? 
Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Um, Chartreuse. Chartreuse is right. Which Dominican friar led a 1494 Florentine revolt that expelled the ruling Medici family? Savonarola. Savonarola is correct. What is the popular name of the branch of Cistercian monks founded in 1140 at the monastery of Solny la Trappe and reorganized in the 17th century by Armand de Rance, who practiced extreme austerity of diet, penitential exercise, and absolute Trappist. silence? Yeah. Trappists. Trappists is right. No trappism from you this time, we hope. Jesus, you're on 30, 195. We've got about eight minutes left. A start of a 10. Which basic condiment from Southeast Asia, made from a variety of bean with wheat, water? St. Andrew's Young. Soy sauce. Soy sauce is correct. Well done. <laughs> St. Andrew's, you get three questions on paintings. Which painting, one of a pair produced by Goya around 1800, has the face awkwardly superimposed on the body, suggesting that the identity of the sensuous lady has been disguised? Venus. Mm. Is it the toilet of Venus? No, it's the naked Maha. Which famous painting by Botticelli shows a naked lady standing on a large shell in the sea and framed by various Venus. mythical figures? It's the birth of Venus. That is the birth of Venus, finally, for five points. Which painting by Manet shows a naked lady picnicking under the trees with two gentlemen friends? Um, let's, 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 uh, let's, uh, Come on. Picnic on the grass. <laughs> um, I don't think I can accept that. I really want the French title, which is almost the same. Le déjeuner so lab, and of course the two gentlemen were fully closed. Right, in the pictorial vein, we continue with the second picture round. Built in about 427 BC, the temple of Nike Apteros, demonstrating both Doric and Ionic styles of architecture, is to be found where? Jesus Heliwell. Turkey. I have to offer it to you, St Andrews, I'm afraid. Uh, St. Andrew's Clark. Sorry, I don't know. No, it's the Acropolis. So we'll come back to the picture bonuses in a second, take another start of a 10. Set up under the Bretton Woods Conference of July 1944. Jesus Heliwell. The IMF. Um, I don't think I can accept that, really. So I'll finish it. Which specialised agency of the United Nations initially made loans for reconstruction after World War II, but by 1949 its emphasis had shifted to loans for the purpose of economic development. St. Andrew's Young. The World Bank. The World Bank is correct. 